So some wacko in tights busts up one of our operations and you immediately decide the world is upside down. Maybe I'm questioning why I pay you the big bucks in the first place. Maybe right now I'm wondering why I keep you around at all. You tell everyone to get back to work tomorrow. If more of these super rumors start to circulate, you crush them any way you have to. That includes whatever feelings you've got on the matter. We're in business, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Keep your head into business, or I'll send one of my boys to blow it off. Just so we understand each other. Don't call again unless you got good news. That's an order. Superheroes. What a crocket. So what do I pay you for? Get in here and whack this guy! I wouldn't bother calling your men. You're sleeping quite peacefully now. Sleeping? Really? That's not like you, Hatchet. Not that I'm complaining. Just tell me who hired you. I'll pay double. Tell me where she is, Wallace. She? Who, who are you talking about? You and I both know. So don't insult my intelligence or yours. Where is she? The boss? See, I figure Hellion's own people would know where she was. We recently had a, a falling out. I have a favor I want to return. And you're going to help me with that. What if I don't feel like it? Hmm. Then I might consider going back to my old way. I'm sure you understand. Loud and clear! Sorry, Greg. I couldn't help it. It was just too good to pass up a few pictures. Just think about tomorrow's headlines. The seedy underbelly of a respectable city exposed at last by a reformed agent of its own depravity. No offense. None taken. Greg, who is this chick? This chick is a fully accredited investigative reporter, thank you. You'll see my name tomorrow on the front page. That is, if a drug kingpin even reads the paper. If you've got the time to talk to her, you've got the time to talk to me. Where is Hellion? You think I'm more afraid of you than her? She's got powers for crying out loud. All you've got is your fancy chopper. Also, from this side of the desk, it looks to me like that cute piece of tail there has you wrapped around her finger. Didn't think you were the type. You wouldn't want to disappoint your girlfriend by gutting me. Maybe you don't even have the stomach for it anymore. Oh, I wouldn't take that chance if I were you. She's, she's at the docks tonight, big meeting, something about a big offer. What's obliged? You realize you're a dead man, right? You're both dead if Hellion figures out you betrayed her, and if she's feeling generous, she'll do it quick. Then she'll come for you. Yeah, then she'll come for... Uh. Thanks, Greg. For? For not killing those men, like I asked. They probably deserve worse. They're bad people, like me. Anyone can change. Maybe they'll wake up and decide to abandon this life of crime. <laughs> sure they will. Anything is possible. You say that like you don't believe it. I'm not an optimist like you are, Joan. I prefer the term realist. I report the truth, or as near as I can get to it. The good and the bad. <laughs> a reporter with a conscience. And I thought I've seen everything. <clears throat> Thanks. For? Not killing me, either. Once I kill Hellion, it will be all over. You really need to kill her? You sure I can't just make up some kind of tell-all article? Not with her. Wallace wasn't out of line when he said she had... She had powers. Powers? There's another world out there, Joan. It's not just cops and robbers anymore. There's some people who can do things. Impossible things. Greg. How did someone like you get into this business? Good pay, decent hours, an outlet for my anger, chance to be respected, felt trapped in my economic situation, bad influences. Take your pick. I wish you'd be more specific. It's out of respect. I don't waste others' time talking about myself. But maybe I care. I kill people for a living, Joan. Nothing is impossible. It's hard to believe that. Just one more life. Hellion. After that, I'm done. Do one bad thing, set everything right. That's not how life works. That's all I know. 
Don't worry about it. Just one more time. Yeah. Stay safe. Just one more time. <laughs> Now, it doesn't actually matter how the heist itself goes. The whole point is to raise a few alarms, so a little good-natured chaos to get the anti-hero's attention. I know you have it in you. Hi. Welcome to the first Superbank of Excelsior City. How can I help you today? Open the vault and give me everything you've got. I'm not sure that's a reasonable request, sir. Do I look reasonable to you. I live in a city full of superheroes. If I panicked every time somebody walked in in a superhero costume, I'd be freaked out all the time. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm listening. Call me Spark. But are you a villain? <laughs> Try anti-hero. Well, just tell me what you want. I, 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 don't, I don't want any trouble. This is easier than I thought. Look after him, would you? From a distance. And when the time comes, don't break anything important. I know how enthusiastic you can be. You've got to be kidding me. What do you want? Merely curious. Came to watch. Ah, not much to see. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to play fight the brat to get this farce underway. Shame I have to hold back. I miss the old days when a villain was my canvas. You were interested once in sleeper agent mission yourself, correct? Can you blame me, Will? After the disaster, all it's been at the tower has been paperwork and posing for sidekick snots. Years of soft tactics, hiding, manipulating. It's not my style. For once, I'd like to do a little recon. Bust some heads for the greater good. A shame that most recent agent is not incapable of carrying out tasks. Incapable? What are you driving at this time, Will? Simple observation. If current agent is rendered inoperable, who then would inherit prestigious mission? <laughs> oh, you sly devil. You're trying to get into my head and play your little games. I'll have you know I'm not so easily jerked around. No intentions implied. Simply... What am I supposed to do with this? You asked for money, right? That's a silver citizen voucher. It has 10,000 merits on it. That sounds like a lot. It is. If you want any more, I'm afraid I don't have access to all the online merit balances in the city or anything. So you guys don't use money? Of course not. Merits are for non-necessities, everything else the supervision provides. Kind of takes the fun out of robbery. You can't imagine how sorry I am for you. Don't make me zap you. I don't want you to zap me. My name is Spark. Learn it. Fear it. Kid, are you sure you want to be doing this? I'm just going to tell you that we haven't had any villains around for years. Even if the anti-heroes have your back, the capes aren't going to like it. Tell your friends. You're new to this, aren't you? Hmm. I'm not going to get much notoriety out of this, am I? Look, if it's any consolation to you, you kind of freaked me out. If you're good, I'm good. Thanks. Bulwark! Shut up and die, insect! Shut up and what?
Once again, this has been the voice of the city, reminding every citizen everywhere that, damn it, I asked them very specifically not to disturb me during working hours. I don't like distractions. Thank <laughs> you.